Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to get cleaned up. You know, I'm going to be spending Sunday with Yori. to get cleaned up, get my nice shirt on. You mean the weekend? Get rid of the fuzz. I'm ready. I've been waiting for this. For the whole game. Let's do this. can't believe this. Yori is going to come to my house on Sunday. Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori. You did say, yeah. I, I did, you know. I want to be that friend for her. Good, good friend. She's my neighbor. You know, I know there's something going on. Well, she might but be she, good. But she's avoiding me. She might be good in bed, too. You never know. You never know. <laughs> I'm a pig. We knew this. <laughs> <laughs> My anxiety is still shooting through the roof. I mean, I know it's a game, and I'm still excited. Yes. Guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. <laughs> Which, I've, I've kind of figured both of them out a little bit. You know, Monica's still... Uh, I have no clue. Confusing as fuck. And not sucky, she's just batshit crazy. Oh, well, just fucking mean. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she's looking forward to it. Which is why I went, got nice, cleaned up, got a nice, crisp, clean shirt on. I'm ready to do this. You're ready for this date? I shake my head. Get the cobwebs out. Bro, oh, let's do this. Yes. Why do I feel nervous? And see, you already might find out about this. Am I conflicted now? I think I might be. You want them both? Yeah, yeah, I do. I have nothing to worry about. Nope. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. No more poems. It's already Sunday. I slept all day Saturday getting ready for today. Oh, you were supposed to meet her Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. No doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. He's losing his V card. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've even been texting occasionally. Oh, nice. She was extremely apprehensive at first. But it wasn't long before I was already learning more about putting Yuri aside. I haven't heard a thing from Siori since she left the club early that other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Siori said and what Monica said, I decide to visit Siori before Yuri comes over. Probably a good idea. Rather than ask, asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. I head up to her, bre her bedroom, where I finally find her. Sayori? I sit down in her room. 
Siori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Siori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. It's because I end up cleaning it for you. Yeah, but... Wait. How do you know that? Siori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. She talked to Monica? That bitch! <laughs> she did! Huh. Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Just me and Yuri then. There's more silence between us. It's like this was planned. Am I getting punked? Yuri <laughs> stares at a random in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing after you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. Siori smiles, shakes her, shaking her head. I came over today because I'm worried about you. The world's got not a damn thing to do about it. Oh, and she laughs. Siori. I grab Siori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you, so tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Shory gives me an empty smile. Somebody's gonna have to be put in a hole. A pussy hole. And no, fucker. Somebody's gonna have to die if they hurt you. What are you talking about, Siori? She's in love with me, isn't she? And it makes sense. Worthless. Game really threw me for a curve. 
Depression sucks. It does. Coming from somebody who had it for a long, long time. And it's no laughing matter. Nope. Can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Siori keeps this from me the entire time that I've known her? Why is it you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. It's hard when you have depression to tell other people that you're depressed. But if you can't tell your best friends, who can you tell? You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feeling at all, Siori. In reality, I do understand. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. Tears streak down Siori's face. Without thinking, I once again grab Siori's shoulders. This time, I pull her into a tight embrace. Siori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never under underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Siori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Siori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. Siori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if that's everything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. 
I'll get mad if you don't. Gently, Siori finally puts her arms around me in return. Siori lets me go, and she does so. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. It's gonna be fun, right? How would you like for me to spend it all with you? That's what I want. I promise. Siori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. But it's almost time for Jory to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? be fun, to my surprise, Siori shakes her head. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow.